Winning every morning, I'm alive. I did the first self self lob of all time. Clones. I mean, you need a clone, but I got those. What is good? Yo, I'm in the best shape of my life. Maybe not jumping my very highest, but jumping my best. Feeling amazing. These barefoot shoes are the truth. And I want to give you a quick reason why. Because for me, I was never good at jumping off one step with that power. I needed a freaking full speed approach. So this is not only training me to work on that one step slower approach, but strengthening my feet. I can feel my toes working. I feel more connected to the ground. I feel more shifty with the handles. I'm going to be start playing pickup soon. So stay tuned for that. Super, super pumped. So this vlog is a special one for me. And you will also see a little essence of mercury retrograde. I don't know if you guys are as spiritual as I am, but I want to bring some of that into my vlog. So listen, it's about when old patterns revisit themselves in your life. I'm not going to get too deep into the way the planets spin, but just know that that can happen during this time. And for me, if you watch this video, I didn't even know it was happening, but I had a new goal, the barefoot dunk, the drop step dunk. I wanted it so bad. And you guys know when I say one more attempt, that never means one more. That literally means I'm just going to say this one more time every single time and lie to myself over and over again. I didn't want to do that today. I wanted to stay disciplined. It's Locktober. I want to stay locked in, do what's best for my body, and set an example. So that's my point, is things like that. It came out, I haven't had a goal like that. I've been super disciplined with my jumping, but I haven't had a goal like that where I was so close to landing it and I know I can land it and I just needed more jumps, but it wasn't what's best for my journey. You'll hear me talk about that. So I just wanted to point that out. That's a little Mercury retrograde getting uh, sprinkled into today's episode. Quick quote from the book Force vs. Pa Power vs. Force by David Hawkins. A formula followed by all geniuses. You're a genius right now, whoever's listening to this. Prominent or not, do what you like to do best and do it to the very best of your ability. And another thing he talks about geniuses is that it's not something you have, it's not something you are. It's all something we can tap into and it's just a moment. So if you can get there, if you have a question in your mind, whether it's inventing a light bulb, flying a plane, if you could ask the question, can I fly? That means there's already an answer. The fact that you can ask the question is proof that there is an answer is what he talks about, which I love. So I just wanted to share that as, uh, that as well, some nuggets as well, more nuggets. Did I do the first self self lob of all time. Honestly though, I gotta give a huge shout out to my boy Andrew Adarkey. He did it years ago. You'll find his clip if you want to. You must, some of you might know about that, but I had to show that that was an inspiration because I saw him do something similar. And I think other people have tried it too, but this is my first real clone dunk. It was a lot of fun. So definitely wanna do more edits like that and keep expanding my genius. Last but not least, I am creating the best program of my life getting you guys from average to elite. I don't want you to just dunk. Dunking is easy, but dunking easy is hard. That's what I've learned and that's what I want to share with you. The principles, the habits, the disciplines of an elite pro athlete. That is my outline of my program. I'm so excited to develop it and it's going to be something that inspires me to make and I can't wait for you guys to get started with it. So stay tuned for that. Let's go. <gasps> Winning every morning, I'm alive. Setting my attention, let's run. So this is where patience comes in because now I'm jumping harder in these shoes and it's a lot more force so I have to give it time so I don't overdo it. It's so easy to just jump hard. I have so much energy and adrenaline but I got to give my tendons and my body to adapt, time to adapt. So if I don't get it today, that's okay. That's what it means by detaching from the outcome. The, you don't have expectations. I would love to get it today but I know it's part of the process and I don't want to just chase that so hard today that I overdo it. So. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh Pretty sure I hit the bottom of my palm before the rim slid up and then I grabbed it. I was way high enough. Ah! Oh my god, I had it. I had it. I had it. Ah! 
Yo, so this is really big for me because not only was I not able to do it on a slow approach, but now I'm also in barefoot shoes. So it's a big change for me, transforming my body, and it's a big milestone for me. So anytime you're achieving a goal, do the smallest steps you can and do things that help you strengthen your belief in yourself. So whether it's getting better at jumping in barefoot shoes or getting better at jumping off one step, whatever you want your long-term goal to be, break it down into small steps. Work relentlessly at every single tiny detail. Are you kidding? This is the essence of living in the moment, how mindfulness translates into sports. Because right now you could say, living in the moment, I wanna do the most I can for this moment and achieve everything in this moment, but that's not what it's about. It's about being in the moment, tuning into exactly what you need right now, what the best thing for you is right now. So it's not the most, it's doing the best thing for you right now. And right now it's, I'm training, but in life it could be, something you enjoy. So follow that joy, follow that positivity. It's not about just pushing yourself to the limits. Discipline, focus, that's what I need right now, and that's what I'm gonna stay on, and that's what I'm gonna stick to. So this is sincerely the last attempt, despite all my past videos of me saying one more, or last one of me never adhering to it, today starts a new day, a new chapter, a new Steve. Oh my God, I got so high. I got so, I was all the way here, mini scorpion, and still hanging on the rim, so shoes time. As I lace up with these new shoes, pretty insane how I feel right now, how high I'm jumping off of two steps, how light I feel, how strong I feel. Discipline, baby, focus, clarity, where you're going, so you can stay focused, because if you don't have clarity, it's hard to stay focused, because you don't know what to focus on. Baby steps, I have huge goals for myself. Let's go. To the video mark? Yeah, go ahead. Stevie, I love you. Go do you. All right. I raised you to do you. Do you. You do you the best. Let's Nobody do it. Nobody does you better. How was your workout? Freaking incredible. I can't walk. I don't even know how I'm driving the car. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> like rubber. I got aggression. Get up. Ready? Oh, 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 you I see you. Winning every morning, I'm alive. Setting my attention, let's ride. Body, mind, spirit, I'm aligned. And I'm putting work, don't stop. Got no limits, no top. Focus on the moment, no clock. Going with the flow, no blocks. Keep it on go, let's roll, squirt, no, no crocs. I'm locked.